Today we expect to get new numbers that could shed some insight into one major economic indicator from the consumer spending report. Well, we know inflation has been at the top of all of our minds as we do head into Election Day. And Natalie Haddad joining us from the newsroom with details on this. So Natalie, uh, some experts say that we have seen steady growth. We have seen steady growth, but no matter which way you put it, inflation is still hurting our pockets. And for that reason, it is still a top concern for voters. We're not going to sugarcoat it. We still have a way to go. But we have seen areas of the market improve over the last 10 quarters. Now, a new report shows the economy grew by 2.8 percent in the last quarter. And this means consumer spending is up, which economists say is not typical of an economic slowdown. The report also shows over 250,000 jobs were added. And when the monthly job report comes out tomorrow, we'll know where specifically jobs improved and where they didn't. Economy is going to be performing next year, much like it is this year. Not, not bad. Uh, relatively strong growth, uh, a lot of jobs, low unemployment, inflation back close to the Federal Reserve's target. A poll by the Associated Press shows 7 in 10 voters think the economy is headed in the wrong direction. Well, why is that? Well, our wages, our salaries, they're not keeping up with the high cost of living. Food prices, while stabilizing, are still 25 percent higher compared to the last presidential election. Gas, although down in the last year, is still nearly a dollar more per gallon than in 2020. And the monthly mortgage payment on a typical home has nearly doubled since 2020. Now, of course, 2020 was when the COVID-19 pandemic started, so that does play a part, too. Now, the woes of the economy, for better or for worse, has retailers worried about what holiday shopping will look like? Target and Walmart already announcing very early Black Friday deals and events. Mark?